Nigeria's population is ever increasing, and according to the National Bureau of Statistics, the country's population has continued to grow by over 2% in the last five years, reaching an estimated 213 million people as the population growth rate hits 2.58% in 2020. This population explosion also comes with its own challenges, including the lack of access to decent accommodation by some of the citizens. While some independent sources have pegged Nigeria's housing deficit at an estimated 17 to 20 million, the federal government debunks the figure, insisting there is no basis for such a conclusion. Those numbers that have been bandied around, we have 17 million deficit, is a lie. I found the source of it. It was in a document in our ministry that it was written, and I've asked the author, and they said there was no verification, there was no basis, there was no data to support it. Notwithstanding the government's position on the statistics about the housing deficit, one thing remains clear that housing shortages exist in the country, and many citizens do not have access to decent housing. This also explains why many states and the federal government continue to invest in mass housing projects each year. For example, the federal government's Family Homes Fund, National Housing Fund and the National Cooperative Housing Development Scheme are some of the interventions of the government to address the country's housing needs. However, costs and stringent repayment plans are barriers for low-income earners to access some of these mortgages. The best thing that I feel is possible is a flexible payment plan. Because if you have a flexible payment plan whereby you can spread your payments and be able to pay for a longer period, that will make everybody to have a home of themselves. So if you ask people to pay for a house by just dipping their hand into their pocket and bringing out their credit card, it won't match. One of the problems that I would like to see resolved is the payment system. Recently, the federal government announced plans to float a national housing bond, a decision many say will help to address the challenge of affordability. I think that currently only the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria gives a single digit interest rates in terms of mortgages and construction finance. But uh, with the capital market that we are going to raise, hopefully is going to be on single digit too is going to be cheaper than the commercial uh, uh, rates and uh, that will make it much cheaper and it will be affordable to even the lower and middle income earners. Cost of land, cost of uh, construction, cost of infrastructure uh, part of why it is difficult to, why it's expensive to see houses at uh, lesser prices. With this uh, national housing bond we will be able to assess funds at a lower rate and at a more fixed rate. Access to adequate and affordable housing is part of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 11. To effectively deliver on this, the federal government will need a plan that is driven by accurate data, as well as a commitment to deliver affordable houses for those who truly need them.